we are going to next question this is easy one but good one start it it, it covers each and everything uh, it covers the cost of retain earning also with both the variables that is brokerage as well as uh, uh, personal taxation and this is one of the latest question of overall cost of capital believe me this question was of five marks is it all right and when we'll be solving it you will say sir the uh, it is too much for five marks uh, it is a very uh, short question for five marks the capital structure of bright limited as on 31st march is as follows share capital is seven lakh fifty thousand those rupees are in lakhs all right so it is 750 lakhs that is 7.5 crores retain earning is 2.5 crore preference share capital is 2.4 crore and 12.5 percent debentures is 360 the market price per equity share is 350 that is p0 the prevailing default risk-free rate of interest is a six percent that is rf rate of return on market portfolio that is rm Beta of the company is nothing but beta. The corporate tax rate is 30%. The average tax rate of shareholders is 25%. This is tax rate. This is personal tax rate. Brokerage cost is 2% that they have to pay while investing dividend in an alternate securities. Calculate the weighted average cost of capital on the basis of book value weights start it but first we need to find out all cost of capital start it let me do one by one ke now neither dividend is available neither, neither growth rate is available neither earnings is available p0 is available but nothing else is available start it what i'll be doing i'll be using capm method to find out required rate of return of equity shareholders which is nothing but equal to ke which is rf plus beta into rm minus rf rm minus rf is market risk premium beta into rm minus rf is risk premium risk free plus risk premium is expected rate of return of equity shareholders rf is six percent beta is 1.289 rm is 15 percent minus 6 percent this is 9 multiplied by 1.289 plus 6 it is 17.601 percentage will be nothing but our first answer that is k start now information regarding preference share capital and debentures is not given try to concentrate how to find out the answer of preference shares as well as debentures Start it. let me first uh, find out of debentures see if nothing is given borrowing can be taken as base value which is 100 even if it is not given you can assume as 100 if nothing is given you can take 12.5 percent will be paid on 100 also it is always paid on face value so interest will be 12.5 percent 12.5 rupees 100 into 12.5 percent the cost of debenture of one debenture as well as cost of debenture of uh, uh, one lakh debentures or three crore 60 lakh debentures it does not matter the cost remains same is it all right how to find out cost of irredeemable debentures is i into 1 minus t upon b multiplied by what is i 12.5 1 minus what is t t is a tax rate 0 0.30 divided by 100. this is 12.5 into 0 0.70 divided by 100 multiplied by 100 that is 8.75 percentage this is after tax cost of debentures after tax cost of debentures all right from sir, yes it are so brokerage must be minus all right that brokerage is different try to concentrate 
what does that bro brokerage says is the brokerage is two percent not while issuing the debentures huh? it is not while issuing the debentures that they have to pay while investing dividend in alternate securities so it is personally for shareholders all right we have done cost of reserves in this case it will be important is it all right brokerage is not payable by issue, while issuing debentures so it will not be considered over here is it all right so this is 8.75 but from now onwards no one will be solving like this all right See, your borrowing is face value, your redemption value is face value, everything is on face value. That's not it. So the cost should remain 12.5% of debentures. Excuse me. If the cost should remain 12.5%. But there is a tax benefit in debentures. So directly do one minus T on percentage directly do. See if there was no tax benefit, the cost would have remained 12.5%. You can try 12.5 rupees interest divided by borrowings 100 multiplied by 100 will be 12.5. It's not it. As there is a tax benefit, you can directly do, do this 12.5% into one minus tax rate is 30%, 0 0.30. It is 12.5 multiplied by 0.7. It is 8.75. The answer will be same. But this is a shortcut. The paper checker would be impressed by you. Is it all right? If you are doing full-fledged calculation, they will understand that you have just mug up the formulas. Here, there is a, see, it is a simple concept. 10% debenture, suppose, is on face value if the issue price is face value redemption value say if it is if they are redeemable debentures is face value then the cost of debenture is 10 percent before tax then three percent will be tax benefit if the tax rate is 30 percent and seven percent will be after cost after tax it is as simple as this. So you can directly do into 1 minus t. Find out the answer of cost of. Right. Let's start. Third. Preferences. Start. What are preferences? 13.5%. No other information is given. It is on face value. The redemption value is face value. And so it is 13.5%. into 1 minus t. This 1 minus t will not happen. Drashti, can you tell me why? This benefit is not uh, available. Available in preferences. Yes, tax benefit is not available in preferences. Our fourth point will be reserves. Kr is equal to Ke minus personal taxation so 1 minus pt minus that brokerage 1 minus brokerage is it right? see this is this brokerage which brokerage if company is declaring me dividend so they are not keeping retained earning of rupees 100 is it all right? then i am getting 100 rupees i will have to pay tax on that 100 rupees from remaining figure someone else will take brokerage before i invest it somewhere is it all right? So I, I invest through a broker. So they take brokerage and that will be my expenditure. So what will be invested in the company will be far, far less money after deducting taxation, personal taxation and after de uh, deducting brokerage. Is it all right? What is KE we have found out is 17.601. Your personal taxation is given 25%. And brokerage is given, it will be 17.601 multiplied by 0 0.75 multiplied by 0 0.98. It is 12.93 or 94. 12.94. 
सो वी आर हैविंग प्रैक्टिकली ऑल कॉस्ट ऑल फॉर फोर सोर्सेज कॉस्ट लेट मी राइट डाउन इन दिस सिक्वेंस इक्विटी रिजर्व इक्विटी रिजर्व प्रेफरेंशियस एंड वेंचर्स प्रेफरेंशियस एंड फर्स्ट कॉस्ट इक्विटी इज सेवेंटीन पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो वन रिजर्व इज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट नाइन फोर प्रेफरेंस इज थर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव डिवेंचर्स इज एट पॉइंट सेवन वॉट विल बी वेट वेट विल बी सेवन फिफ्टी टू फिफ्टी टू फोर्टी थ्री सिक्सटी now in equity shares you can find out market value weight but we are taking over here as book value we are taking over here as book value because they have given calculate weighted average cost of capital based upon book value weights is it all right so this is my book value sigma i w divided by sigma w is it all right this is 1000 You can watch my calculator if you want to do it with M plus seventeen point six zero one multiplied by seven fifteen is equal to M plus twelve point nine four multiplied by two fifty is equal to M plus thirteen point five multiplied by two forty is equal to M plus eight point seven five. Multiplied by 360 is equal to M plus. MRC is uh, 22,825 divided by 1,600. It is 14.26 KO, which is nothing but weighted average cost of capital. Yeah. This is how you find out weighted average cost of capital. Why now? This is a good question because they have given all four sources of capital. then they have given uh, the cost of reserves in a different manner some what cost of this was first time otherwise this is not different this is very easy is it all right uh, uh cost of preferences and cost of debentures uh, and overall cost of capital with book value start